It sounded almost too good to be true when we told you last night that Democrats and Republicans agreed on a federal budget without driving the nation to the edge of fiscal disaster. Well, today, some conservative groups came out against that deal, but that drew a rare public rebuke from the Republican leadership. Nancy Cordes asked the key question today, and she's on Capitol Hill tonight. Nancy? Scott, what made Republican leaders so angry was the fact that these powerful outside groups were once again urging Republicans to vote against a fragile compromise that had been worked out by a party standard bearer, who in this case just happens to be a possible presidential candidate in 2016. We feel very good at where we are with our members. Budget we Chair Paul Ryan met behind closed doors today with his fellow House Republicans, working to sell them on a two-year spending deal that cuts the deficit by far less than they'd like, just $23 billion over 10 years. But after a bruising government shutdown fight two months ago, many conservatives said they are ready to compromise. It's a small step in the right direction. I think uh, it's a positive step forward. And I think it's something that we should support. That puts them at odds with groups that raise millions of dollars for conservative candidates. The Club for Growth said the plan was made up of budgetary smoke and mirrors. Heritage Action called the deal a step backwards. And both vowed to hold Republicans accountable for their votes. That touched a nerve with House Speaker John Boehner. Mr. Speaker, most um, major conservative groups have put out statements blasting this deal. Are you worried you that the they're... the groups that came out and opposed it before they ever saw it? Yes, those groups. Are you worried that their they're, opposition... They're using our members and they're using the American people uh, for our, their own goals. This is ridiculous. Listen, if you're for more deficit reduction, you're for this agreement. That frustration you heard has been building for a while among Republican leaders who feel that these influential groups have been pushing conservatives to sink deal after deal. It doesn't look like that's going to happen when this comes to a vote tomorrow, Scott, and many Senate Democrats say they will back the plan, too. You sure know how to get a rise out of the speaker. Nancy, thank you very much.